Hi, this is your Smith Sparks with Roblox, and today we're going to start our lesson series on how to build a racing game. What better place to start with than building a car? To start making a car in Roblox, first I'm going to be in Roblox Studio. I'm going to start with the body of the car using the part tool. I'm just going to insert it into our game. I'm going to make it a little longer using the scale tool to stretch out one of the sides. I'm going to make my car about 12 studs long. Next, we'll need some wheels for our car. To add a wheel, I'm going to click on the Insert tab, then on Cylinder. And this will put a big cylinder into our world, and we can use that as a wheel. Now, before we actually make this a wheel, there's no way for this cylinder to know that it's supposed to spin in place. If we just put it next to the body of our car, really nothing would happen. So to make this wheel spin, we need to add what's called a hinge. To do that, go back to the Home tab, then click on the Surface tool here. And you see we have a whole bunch of surfaces to select from, including the hinge surface. We click on that. You can see that we can add a hinge to a surface simply by clicking on it. And there we go. You'll see a little axle sticking out of the wheel, and that shows what it'll spin about. And I can move my wheel back right next to the car. I'm going to make a couple more wheels because no car would be complete without a full set. I'm going to copy, paste this, move it into position. And now I'm going to copy both of them by uh, shift clicking to select both. Copy and paste them again to the other side. First, though, I'll have to use the rotate tool, spin them around. There we go, we've got all four wheels. Now we do need to make sure that the hinges are actually intersecting the body of the car. Right now, they're just floating in space above it, as you can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the body part, this part that we added earlier, click on the Move tool. I'm going to drag in this green arrow so that it raises up. And notice how now the hinges are completely obscured by this part. That means the hinges are inside the part and allow them to spin. So we're almost done. We just need to add one more thing to our car to make it functional. And that's what's called a vehicle seat. To add a vehicle seat, I'm going to right click, go down to insert object, and select vehicle seat. I'm just going to drag it until it's on top of our car. And there we go. It doesn't look like much, but this is really a fully functioning car in Roblox. Let's give it a test drive. If you ever want to try out your game in Roblox Studio before you publish it, all you have to do is click on the Play Solo button. And that'll insert our character into the game. And here's our car. It's going to hop onto the vehicle seat. And off we go. We drive forward, backwards, turn around. We have all the pieces of a basic car. When you want to stop testing, get back to building, all you have to do is click on the Reset button. In future lessons, we'll be adding more to the body of the car, even change how it handles. But for now, I'm Eurus McSparks, and remember, you make the game. Thanks for watching.